welcome everybody to uh, State of the WWE. What's up, wrestling fans? I have no idea what State of the WWE we're on. 27. 27. Really? Yeah. Well, I'm glad somebody knows. It's my third one. It's about me. I have to know. Ugh. State of the WWE episode number 27. And I'm here with the Dead on Dave, who now uh, has joined me. He has a coffee mug as well. Ooh, ooh, drink from me, bitches. And uh, it's awesome, and he's got a great copious t-shirt. He's got a bunch of merchandise. Check that out, because it's cool. It's funny. Thank um, you, Isaac Rojas. You are the man. Isaac Rojas. Dude is amazing. Dude he does really, a ton of stuff. And he's like know. a kid. He's like a baby. He's like, he still has an umbilical cord. I want to get, I just, I don't understand. Like, I feel like he should be independently contracted for some of this stuff, but he I, refuses it. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm like, I'm like, here, take, I, I have no money. Know. Though. <laughs> I'm um, like, I don't, that's weird. He's awesome though, but, uh, awesome. WWE is already sort of announcing, uh, AJ Lee's return, number one. Yeah. So, uh, what the F is up with so that? So she ain't pregnant. She ain't preggers. A lot of she people. said it on Twitter. Did she say it again, really? Yeah, yeah. I, I missed said, that. Yeah, she put it on Twitter yesterday. She said she's not she's not preggers. She, she said, said what'd she say? She said she loves her abs too much for that. <laughs> I hope to God that her and CM Punk never have a child. Oh God. If, my, that's the Antichrist. They will hate that thing. <laughs> I'm they so, will hate their I'm, own child. I'm dead serious. If they have a kid, if they like, uh, if they're like, oh, maybe we should. And then she's like, I've been thinking about a baby. She's going to hate the kid. It ruined oh her abs. God. She may not even be able to push a baby out of that thing. And, uh, and, oh, and Punk be like, shut up. And CM Punk, yeah, and CM Punk just be like, shut up, you little piece of trash. <laughs> Here's your bedtime story. Go to sleep or I'll put you to sleep. Daddy, can I have a piggy bank? No, your uncle took it. <laughs> your uncle took it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't Go with care. savings bonds, kids. Uncle he, Uncle can't. There's take one it. guy that will never be on this show. Oh, CM yeah. Punk. If he hears any of this stuff, um, ah, fuck yeah, he's already blocked it. me on Twitter. So I mean, what am I going to do? He would come on the show for 15 minutes and then he would leave and you know, cite about how we were fucking being wrong. I, I will them. step up and defend him though. I am a little bit sick of people being like, "Well, you shouldn't have quit. You know, you quit or you quit, 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 quit." Well, he got fired. I mean, yeah, after he quit. You're right. After after he did not show up to work for six months, yes, you're right. He got fired. Yeah, right. <laughs> exactly. So he did quit. So call, call him a quitter and uh, text, send texts of your privates to him. Yes. Um, Mick Foley's taking a break from social media, and you know I'm surprised that he didn't do this uh, sooner because he really just pops off all over the place on Twitter about everything. And I'm surprised someone from the WWE isn't like, you know. I mean, Vince has yeah. to be pacing around sometimes some of the things he tweets out. <laughs> Oh well, Mick, I, I gotta you gotta have to take your break, Mick. <laughs> well, you know, Mick, I'm not gonna be able to bring you back <laughs> if you tweet things like this. It's irresponsible. <laughs> I'm sure that's exactly how the conversation yeah. went. By the way, I just uh, watched WrestleMania 26 over again, and it was terrible. Yes, it was. You just wow. realizing that? No, I just forgot. I was like, let me just try this, and uh, no, I forgot. It, it is so bad. Uh, was that the Hell in the Cell? That's the Shawn Michaels Undertaker two part two. Oh, and you didn't. But that match was good. Their match was the best match of the night. Yeah. Everything else was, well, you know, the I don't know. It wasn't actually. I'm going crazy here. It wasn't as bad as I'm making it out to be. It was an okay WrestleMania actually. But was that Miz Cena headline? No, that was uh, that was Miz and the Big Show in the opening tag team match. Oh God. And Sheamus Triple H, Randy Orton defeating Legacy, two on one match. Oh, fun. Anyway. This, so much fun. <laughs> this Monday night on Raw, it's Sunday night, of course, tonight, Sunday afternoon over here in the U.S. in the yeah. eastern seaboard. And, uh, you know, I'm I'm really worried about Raw tomorrow, i got to be honest. I'm worried that we're going to see some piss-poor stuff going on. I have a feeling it's going to be a clunker. I do have that feeling myself. It is not – I don't know. I Look – they're saving Daniel Bryan's return to the ring for for Thursday. Yeah, because they want to get the viewership for the SmackDown move. Yeah, which is fine. Uh, but really, what is what are they going to do on Monday? I mean, are they going to fo- how are they going to follow up with the John Cena storyline, the Authority? The, you know, this could be a. I, I, I hate to fucking say it again because it it's it's not going to happen. 
But it would be a good time to put Sting on there. I'm just fucking saying. Oh, you're not going to see him to the Rumble now? I'm con- oh, I know. I know. <clears throat> I'm convinced now, uh, unfortunately. Like you said, it would be it would be good, but they're not going to do it now, and that sucks. And knowing uh, that makes Raw worse. You know what? You know, here's an interesting thing. If, if you watch SmackDown, they did something that everybody's been kind of clamoring for. They have at least laid the groundwork. If they haven't pulled the trigger already on it, they have put Dean Ambrose back into the fucking storyline with Seth Rollins. So we got our answer of what's happening in Death Ro- uh, Seth Rollins and uh, Dean Ambrose. Yeah. Dean Ambrose is back in there. That's a great move, by the way. I, would, I wouldn't be surprised if those two eliminated each other in the Rumble. Yeah, that's a good possibility. And there you go. Uh, you know what? That's something that's going to happen on Rob is they're going to have to deal with Ambrose because Ambrose defied the authority by being Reigns' uh, tag partner on SmackDown. Right. In a great main event on SmackDown, by the way. I don't know if you watched it. I didn't. Great main event. Oh, that's cool. It was very, very good. It was uh, Reigns and Ambrose versus Rollins and Big Show, and it was actually really, really fucking good. Ambrose came out of the crowd, uh, or came out of, from the back to be R- Reigns' partner at the last uh, moment, and uh, it was pretty badass. I don't think WWE understands. Like, it's like the product is so not not very good at this moment that that's why I can't bring myself to watch SmackDown. I'm like, I already wasted this. You know, who no one, you know, SmackDown's not cared about as much, so I'm not even gonna bother. And um, but back in the day, you know, I I wouldn't miss SmackDown at all. Really, um, every once in a while I would. But yeah. but now I really miss it, and uh, I really don't watch it. And uh, but I, th- then when I was kind of in that time where I was missing it a little bit more than usual, I think I saw a Stone Cold beat the crap out of Booker T in a supermarket, and I was like, <laughs> "That's right, bro! I'm never missing this again. I'm never gonna stop watching this. Holy Christ! Stone Cold jackass coming, on aisle three. I mean, coming out of the <laughs> dude when he locked him in the freezer room what you, and then he came through the milk carton door yes that was too good holy christ i lost it i was like oh my this is brilliant <laughs> um it was pretty sweet uh look i haven't been as down on the product the last couple of weeks uh, uh i thought you know raw was not as good last week as it was the week before but leading up to rumble i'm kind of liking where things are going i've been feeling smackdown's been a lot better the last couple of weeks too but we're expecting it to right now. It's supposed to be better. We're, we're in fucking the prime season. This is the playoffs, if you will, you know? Yeah. So And, and they're, good. they're running unopposed on Monday Night Raw. You know, there's no fucking Monday Night Football. There's nothing going against them. So, you know, this is the time where they should be doing better stuff. And I, So maybe I am expecting a little bit more and trying to be optimistic about it. But, I mean, it, it's the time of year that we're in. We should be getting better stuff. Even in the worst years, we get good stuff around this time. So everybody's we, we, we made fun of Roman Reigns quite a bit. JD from New York cut a big thing on him. And uh now all these all these reports and news about Roman Reigns you know, who's doing his promos and now it's coming <laughs> yeah. out that he's doing his own promos. Yeah, no, 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 that's not the report I read. Really? The report I read that every word that's coming out of his mouth is from this is from Meltzer that it's Vince McMahon. Every word that's coming out of his mouth is being put there by Vince McMahon. I read that from uh, Melter. Oh, that's right. Okay. Yeah, Vince McMahon wrote it. Or being scripted by Vince. That's right. Yep. I read and everybody's it. like, what the fuck? Vince is writing his promos. Vince is really out of touch. I hate to say it, but the promos speak for themselves. Yeah. Yeah, but they- to be fair, uh, Roman was a lot better on SmackDown on promo than he usually is, but it was heavily, heavily edited. And it was kind of cartoonish, and it kind of was insulting a little bit. But I got to give Roman credit lately. He's been so much better. Since he's come back, he's been a different guy. How can Vince McMahon at one point like be taking credit for all this crazy Attitude Era goofiness and then even to have a video, the Vince McMahon DVD, which is a great watch um, about Vince McMahon. I think it came out in 2005 or four or six. I don't even know. I think I still have that DVD. It's actually. so good, though. It is good. But. They're like, we had to stop dad from, you know, like sex storylines with Kane, <laughs> like all these things that they like had to tell Vince, no, we're not doing that. That's too far, dad. Yeah. And now, what? now s- fucking Reigns is saying suffering succotash. Yeah. How, how, do, <sighs> how can that be possibly the same man? How, how is this possible? Dementia. This, Dementia de- partner. I, I, I'm, he's sick. Like, yeah. I mean, like, are we, I'm, we're, somebody's lying here because yeah. why is Vince going full on cartoon now and people don't like it 
But then he was going full on like, like we're gonna have babies with my own kids. And, and all well, he was crazy forced things. to back then. That's the thing, though. He was forced to do it. Now he doesn't. He's not forced to. There's no competition. He won. He could lay back and collect his fucking money from the Cena wristbands. You know, maybe that's part of it. Maybe it's complacent uh, complacency, or it maybe he's lot, fucking lost his mind. If this, if he wrote uh, Roman Reigns' promos, if he's been writing those, and that's true, that Vince is doing the promos for Reigns, um, this is straight out of George Lucas. Yeah, he is. Out of touch, and his baby They're is raping being, me. Yeah, it is terrible. <laughs> it is yeah. it is bad, um, and he he needs to be stopped. Yeah. Triple H, where's your shovel, Triple H? Yeah, get the get the sledgehammer. I don't know. I have such a problem saying that type of stuff though about the guy who created the whole thing, and we're and it's really weird. I almost wish I could sit down with him and just say, and like <laughs> like you know what I mean, like really like do like a hard copy type of interview with him, you know, but keep it, <laughs> Vince, um, and I. A lot of people want to know, you know. So, do you, did you write the promo on Monday Night Raw 107, 2015 for Roman Reigns? Well, you know, uh, we have a lot of writers. We, and... we do a lot of writing. Uh, I do a lot of uh, looking over our scripts and editing. And <laughs> Yes, but Vince, I'm going to read you what he said. Quote, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I it am a Superman. It's a very complicated situation where I don't think anybody can fully understand the, what's going on in the back? Well, it's like a, a millions and billions of people love Superman. <laughs> you understand the comparison, don't you? <laughs> they all love. It. <laughs> you know, I, I can like answer. It. Who, who, I, who, who, does, who doesn't like Sylvester the Cat? You know something? I know. I'm making a video called Joe Cronin interviews Vince. That would be and too I, good. And I, I'm gonna do both of those things. Oh my god! If only I wasn't sick right now, I'd have the confidence <laughs> to do it right away. But. And I'm going to find what Roman Reigns said on that Raw, that Superman thing. I'm going to read that quote out, you know. Oh, my God. But what did he say? He said something like, uh, faster, he, oh faster God, than a dude. speeding bullet. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the faster quote, than a speeding bullet. Vince, I quote to you, faster than a speeding bullet, faster than a locomotive. I am. Wait like, till you see what he says on SmackDown. It's even worse. Vince, does this sound like brilliant writing? Is this the type of stuff that got Stone Cold Steve Austin over? Is this the type of stuff that got anyone over? Ever? Well, He uh, actually you know, says opinion. suffer and succotash. Oh, no. He actually oh, says no. it on, on SmackDown. He actually says oh, suffer and succotash. Oh, no. Oh, yes, my sir. God. I'm gonna yeah, I wasn't oh, just no. saying it. He actually oh, I said thought that. you were. I'm going to lose my mind. No, no, he said Oh, it. my God. He did. <laughs> he did. <laughs> He said uh, suffering suck and some other fucking cartoon shit. Oh no. Guys, I everybody everybody on the Joe Cronin show, a side of things on YouTube right now. We gotta go because I'm limited to fifteen minutes for the next two months while my strike is still here. So we gotta go. Um if you want to hear this the rest of this, just make sure you go to iTunes and look up Joe Cronin Show or SoundCloud and listen to the whole entire state of the WWE on iTunes. Uh, but uh thank you for watching on YouTube and click the like button, stick the thumb up my ass, and leave your comments below. But uh <laughs> <laughs> so wait a minute. When does he? Is like this the last thing he says, or is this like? No, he's ta he's talking. About